Greetings, Aquarius. Welcome to your bonus reading. Now, this applies to Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus, yourself. No, grab your chart if you do not have one. Cross Watcher, if you are here for Aquarius, this applies to you. I'm doing these bonus readings for the signs that get the most views. So, you were one of them. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the reading. I've already done my meditation called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be, all right? So, tarot is about energy. We have high vibe, we have low vibe, we have those in the middle and those striving to be in the middle. Now, with that being said, if you feel like something doesn't apply to you, leave it and let the next person pick it up, all right? So, <clears throat> Aquarius, I want to know some of the karmic issues that you may be having presently, all right? Now, this could be uh, something happening in your environment or around you causing you to have some distortion in your energy, all right? So, Ether, show me what it is I need to see. This is the um, karmic reading, you and your person's karma, the, the common core issues, guidance, and things of that sort. If you would like your own personal reading geared to you, you can email me at oracleoftheether at gmail.com. That information will be in the description box below. Please do not respond to any people that uh, comment WhatsApp information or um, people scamming. If you want a reading from me, you have to contact me at that email listed in the description box, not the comment, okay? So, Aquarius, I want to know some of the karmic issues that could be holding you back presently. Either show me what it is I need to see. So, uh, Osiris, okay, that seems like that could be someone's name, okay? So... This is the God King of Duat, all right? So we're talking about duality, uh, commitment, acquisition, and responsibility, all right? So someone uh, wasn't noble. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you could be dealing with the sun sign, uh, uh, Aquarius, if you're a cross, watch, cross watcher. But someone could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or have that in their chart. So I feel like someone avoided responsibility with the traveler. This person could have moved away from you or you moved away from someone. Okay, so this has that evading the law. For those that are not physically evading the law or dealing with someone that... Um, that is, this is an indication of someone trying to evade karma, all right? So I feel like with the Lady of Mass being here, someone definitely, um, the, the Mass slip, okay? We have uh, vanity, surface, and appearances, okay? So someone was hiding their true selves from you. You could have moved away from this person because this is the karma between you and your person, and this is you, and this will be your person here. But um, energies in, are interchangeable. You know, it could coexist. So some things could come off on this side, some things could come off on that side, all right? So you have to... Um, use your own discernment but someone definitely found out some information someone's mass slip and we have uh, Hades one to show uh, his head with the Lord of Riches okay equanimity wisdom and inavailability all right so <laughs> I gotta google that word really okay so but what what this energy is giving me is temptation knowledge wisdom all right all right so this is this is the Hades energy this is Lord energy this is about sacrifices it's about understanding and going through trials and tribulations to get there all right something was definitely hidden from you with the secrets vigilance and subterfuge this is someone that's in your circle at the bottom of the deck we have the forgotten adversary what did I tell you? This is someone in your circle. For some of you, um, this could be a younger male, most definitely with the prince here. Or it could have something to do with a child or surrounding, um, you know, someone with the prince energy. Someone that's not really um, mature 
Okay, this person is just getting along, moving around. This is this is like the 20s energy, someone coming up in their 20s. Okay, so we have the sorrow, loss, valor, and serendipity. Okay, so with the fire being here, someone definitely set themselves on fire. I feel like someone may have told a lot of lies. The keeper of whispers here, the mad prophet. Okay, forbidden knowledge, madness, and curiosity. So, of course... This is things that are being documented um, that we don't necessarily, we know, but we don't know that everything is being documented, okay? So this could also indicate someone um, so caught up in their spirituality that they tend to come off a little, I'm hearing delusional, okay? Um, they could, someone could be going through like a psychosis moment if they're experiencing like a dark night of the soul energy, okay? Um, with the curiosity. Someone could have also been doing some things, conjuring up some evil energy, right? And not really knowing what they were doing. And now it's backfiring, okay? So Osiris, right? Um, that Osiris energy, that's ancient energy. We're talking about the gods here. That's um, a fertility God. This is about resurrection, eternal life. Some of you may have a connection with the ancient uh, Egyptians, okay, with the Duat. Some of you could be studying Hebrew or, or your person. You may have a lineage to that. I do feel like somebody's definitely under judgment because this is a judge. Somebody definitely, um, Aquarius, this may be you suf um, suffering from some sort of judgment. Someone could have traveled away from you, or you could be the one that's traveling away from someone, okay? Show me the energy of the persons or the person around Aquarius that they share this common karma with. Show me what it is I need to see. Anubis and Sharon. The fairy man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so we have necessity, focus, and transition. So I feel like someone may have came into uh, your connection. Um, that's that subterfuge energy. Some of you may have felt betrayal from someone in your circle with Anubis here. We have the arbiter of truth, uh, preservation, neutrality, and obligation. So someone definitely received some sort of judgment, okay? So you were taken to the gates. This person was taken to the gates. Um, they could have physically went to jail, okay? Or, you know, this person, somebody dreams ab uh, about a judgment. So I feel the energy of somebody having a dream of being judged here, okay? Um, the caretaker of the loss, Respite, assistance, and memory. Okay, yeah, that, that's that dream energy. Healing, graciousness, and acceptance. Someone's definitely uh, learning their lesson on this side. So, you can show me what it is I need to see. For Aquarius, person or person surrounding this karma. Show me. Hades energy again, Lord of Riches. So someone was definitely tempted with some information. Now this um, this apple is like a golden apple, all right. So I can't really um, say that either. You know, it's some sort of information depending on um, where you are in your ascension process or your understanding or understanding um, will determine of uh, what type of knowledge it is. It could be knowledge. Um, of some betrayal or knowledge of uh, of a higher level here. The Irishikil. Hmm, that's interesting. There, name there, huh? Queen of Sh Queen of Shadows. We have the wrath, instability, and suspicion. So that's the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Okay. So there's knowledge. Someone could be. And getting found out again, we have that mass dropping energy. Uh, Anubis here, we seen that traveler, someone being taken to the gates due to secrets at the bottom of the deck. We have the overload of the abyss, pestilence, corruption, and malice. Oh, definitely. 
someone's being found out. They did some things on the under and the shadows, this person here. All right. Now I want to know the common core main issue holding you and this person together. Either show me what it is I need to see. Mm. Okay, so you're dealing with someone that's a fighter. Okay, there's someone that's very logical. It could be a fellow um, Aquarius or a Gemini or a um, Libra. Okay. There's something here that uh, this battle that could be a battle, legal battle with Arthur being here and the champion um, of Avalon and nobility. Someone's definitely going through a process where they are they are learning a lot about the person that they are dealing with and about themselves. OK, someone definitely was holding back some sort of instability. The mother of Don that came out in the Scorpio reading. Check that out. Okay, so what's holding you together is um, the mother of Don here. Some of you could have a child with this person. Okay, this could be someone's mother, physical mother. Oh, this is definitely uh, a court battle for someone. For some of you, it's about property. With the brave, bravery, self-discipline, and faith. Here we have the Mastero, the master of inspiration. And then we have the court in the background. Okay, so it's going to resonate different, different for those that it, it does resonate with. Okay, for some of you, it's a marriage. For some of you, uh, someone could be in court due to some sort of theft. For some of you, even, I'm hearing... Um, like homicide and stuff like that okay so yeah with the sword of law definitely i didn't even see that the matriarch someone definitely felt outcasted okay so this is have something to do with a mother uh someone's mother not feeling accepted Okay, or someone's not uh, feeling accepted accepted due to their mother or their lineage here so we have preservation, pers uh, neutrality, and obligation. So we have someone, possibly a male, okay, um, staying in a situation due to obligation. For some of you, it's you. You are a female. You do have children together. Okay, things are very uh, unstable. For some of you, this is your child that's going through this. For others of you, this is a relative. Some of you may have uh, stepped in to, to save someone, I'm hearing. Okay, I'm hearing also just in the nick of time. Hold on. A lot of swords in this reading, so I know that this is going to resonate with Aquariuses or someone that is in the middle of a battle here. Okay. It could be a court battle. Um... Again, someone could have stayed in this situation due to obligation, tradition, and things of that sort. So, what is the guidance for whoever this may resonate with? You can show me what it is I need to see. Address your addiction. Some of you may be going... Uh, to some sort of institution. We did see a building there. Um, some of you, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I feel like uh, some of you may have been in a coding, a, a coding. Uh, ooh, somebody could have like a coding or something like a pill addiction. But what this is saying is someone could also be codependent. Someone could have been caught up in a situation due to obligation. Um, holding back on their passion here, blocking some sort of truth. Yeah, you could have felt blocked with this Osiris energy being for you, Aquarius. That definitely could be you. I feel like someone may be fighting a rebirth with this Osiris energy. Somebody could be fighting um, something not uh, coming out as well. So this is saying that there is peace on the horizon for some of you. Um, you could be someone that needs to 
pursue their talents to be more uh, at peace or you need to be in an environment where you could develop your talent. You could be an artist, a dancer. Um, look forward. So that's the energy of you moving forward. Somebody is definitely um, getting their self out of a stuck position. Either show me what it is I need to see. What is the guidance for Aquarius or whoever is viewing this? Show me. Life purpose. So definitely it's time for you to move forward. For some of you, this is a family that could possibly be uh, blocking you, all right? Hating on you, hating on your dreams. Uh, um, yeah, definitely check out Scorpio energy. This is regarding your life purpose. And it has something to do with your family holding you back. You may be finding out that you have a lot of karmic or distorted uh, people in your bloodline with transformation here. Some more Scorpio energy. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to be free to follow their dreams. And this is saying that you need to have faith. Definitely nurture, nurture yourself. Yeah, go with the flow as you heal. Yeah, this is giving me, as you heal, you heal the planet energy. So that's very much Aquarius energy. It's time for you to nurture yourself and be more confident. With the ask with sincerity, I do feel like you were dealing with someone that was very judgmental, very harsh. Okay, you may have um, dimmed your light to be around this person who will love yourself. And the ask with sincerity. Some of you did not ask for what you needed. Some of you, this was... The way you were raised, I'm, I'm getting traditional, okay? Especially with the life purpose here. Some of you may have not been taught how to stand in your truth or speak your voice. Um, those That's maybe for some of you that was heavily ruled by the matriarch because we did see the matriarch some of you had a very dominant mother uh, possibly a fire sign Aries Leo or Sagittarius mm -hmm. some of you may have had a narcissistic mother okay don't take offense to that we talk about the men a lot some of you may have been raised by a narcissistic mother and you're having to address your addiction. Some of you, your mother could have stayed in partnerships due to the comfort. All right. Some of you may have picked up that energy from your mother. You may be fighting in court right now after. Oh, yeah. Someone's definitely in court. I feel the energy of someone getting sick. OK, you stayed in a situation that made you physically ill life purpose families you see that oh no all right potential outcome possible influence for Aquar Aquarius that's interesting needing to use your intuition some of you you're about to be a mother or a father oh so I feel like this goes this way. Here we have either someone upgrading their belief systems here. I feel like someone, uh, um, yeah, definitely outgrew a situation, a belief system. Some of you don't feel protected in your marriage and you're moving forward. This could be a common law marriage or something of that sort. It could also be a physical marriage. Some of you are scared to speak your truth, whether if you're male or female. This is someone that may have a lot of water or water moon energy. We have the divine feminine here, and we have the divine masculine. And we have an Aquarius, all right? Some of you may be in a third-party situation. Here are you showing up as a third-party situation. That's not for everybody. This is interesting. Some of you may have a choice. This emperor or this empress may have a choice between a Cancer and Aquarius. Pisces as well. Mm, some of you are dealing with a Pisces Aries uh, Cusper and Aquarius Pisces Cusper. Yeah. Someone definitely found out about a third party. We have the tower energy twice, okay? 
Some of you may have had to move twice. Okay, some of you, yeah, there it goes. That Saturn energy, there's a lot of cusp energy. So some of you are dealing with someone on the cusp of Saturn and Aquarius. I mean, Saturn, <laughs> Capricorn and Aquarius. Yeah. Okay, you have a child with this person. This relationship was uh, based on materialism, for sure, or people just figured y'all should be together. Okay. Might I add, it's an attractive couple. Okay, some of you just, yeah. Some of you are staying with someone because someone is telling you you should be together, even though you may have a divine masculine or divine feminine somewhere else. Yep. All right. Yeah. Oof. We have uh, Capricorn, which is the devil in traditional tarot as well. We also have the devil in the shadow form. Okay. This is nothing but dark energy. Someone is using their intuition. This person knows that their spiritual justice coming for whatever manipulation, whatever thing, whatever was done in the shadow. All right. Somebody definitely knows that their partnership is of a lower vibration. Definitely. Oh, yeah. All right. So we have some more. But look at this. We have the devil, justice, the devil again, Pluto, Scorpio energy, transformation energy, energy, some more shadow energy. Right. Power struggle, things being done in the, in the dark, compulsiveness, obsession, especially next to the devil in the shadow. This is a lot of stuff being done in the shadow. At the bottom of the deck, again, the devil. I, had, I, I got my train of thought. And here we have a divine feminine. You could be an Aquarius divine feminine. You could have a Libra or Taurus in your chart, even Cancer. Some of you, your divine masculine or divine feminine has a child with someone. You could be the person that they have a child with. They present a lot of illusions you may do a lot of partying with this person, a lot of sex, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, taboo sex I'm getting for somebody. All right, um, why is Osiris here? Show me. Ooh, that was fast. Rejection. Okay, so Aquarius, remember, rejection is God's protection. Some of you are not um, completing the cycle. You may also be be getting rejected here um, due to some sort of illusion. Somebody could also be playing victim. Somebody needs to accept an ending. Why is rejection here? Yep. It's bittersweet. It's saying it's time to accept it. This was something that was very passionate. I feel like it was only... Uh, built off a of passion here there could have been a child conceived with Osiris here someone's definitely um, mourning a loss someone could have also been playing with magic with mysticism here or again this is things being done in the shadows coming out and it's a bittersweet moment definitely for someone somebody could be um, obsessed with magic or accepts, uh, obsessed with a person possibly a child's father why is, oh, yeah, recovery. Someone is definitely trying to um, do magic. Somebody's trying to do magic, come back to me, fails. This could be something that this person does, have been done for a while with life purpose. They could come from a lineage of people that practice hoodoo or seduction or something like that. Okay, this is somebody that also may have Creole lineage. Okay, so why is instability here? Because that's what it is. Instability for Aquarius' person. Okay. So I feel like uh, for some of you that have been doing magic, the lower vibration ones come to me spells or whatever. This person found out that you were doing this. Okay. That's not for everybody. All right. This person used their instinct. Okay. So, so yeah. Some someone definitely moved away from you, Aquarius, or you moved away from this person. All right, this could have been somebody at your work. 
or someone that you have a business with or someone that just presented a lot of illusions around a situation, okay? The agency. This could be somebody at your work. Mother of Dawn, for some of you it is. This is a work situation. You may be even be in court with your em employer. Some of you have you have co-workers testifying to get you mother of Don, something like that. Okay. For some of you that are on the higher vibration of karma and this, this is happening to you and you just learning the lesson and you trying to let go of people and they not try and they not trying to let go and you finding out that your family is with the shizzes the shiznit yeah your family with the shiznit and you like i didn't know about none of this all right you are um it's something you're supposed to complete for your bloodline and you're moving forward you're going to like get more information about that and it's going to, you're going to have to use your instincts, okay? You're going to have a lot of people uh, playing victim around you as you go through this recovery of your finances. Whatever you went through with this person, for some of you, you even have children with, uh, with this person. So it was teaching you to love yourself, to identify the wolves in sheep's clothing, to wake you up to magic to wake you up to things outside of tradition for some of you. Yeah, expansion, all right? Whew, why is love yourself first here? This is actually pretty. I felt like a card went out, but I don't see it. I know y'all can, like, how could she not? But it's weird. Sometimes I close my eyes, sometimes the angle of the camera, mm, whatever. Love yourself first for guidance. Mm, yeah, this person was blocking you, blocking your intuition, blocking your success. For some of you, this person, I'm hearing poking holes in the ship. For some of you, you had a business with this person. They were blocking you energetically, blocking you physically, okay? Some some of you, was this person was um, had you discombobulated, you know? You couldn't even work. Okay, or you got into a lot of arguments at people for uh, at work because this person may have slept around with co-workers or family members. Oh, oh man, it's all kind of just, yeah. Some of you, you really were a victim of some nasty energy or some nasty relatives, okay? Uh, yeah, because I'm hearing legacy uh, tied to uh, some of you. It's, uh, I'm hearing uh, trust funds or something here. Oof, oof. Yeah, you had to play this role that you were perfect, like, or that the marriage was perfect. Some of you, you're dealing with somebody that's a celebrity, and you have to. Yeah, some somebody's a celebrity, and you have to, like, put on this um, front. If that's you, my cash app is below. Ching, ching. <laughs> All right, yeah, you definitely went through a situation where you, you, you did. If you don't know nothing. You sure not love yourself. <laughs> and you know what it look like when somebody don't love you, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You done changed it now. I went through this. This is like the whole, this is the mask falling down, the, 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 the curtain drop at the end of, what is that? Damn it, I can't think of a movie. And it's always that movie I can't think of. The Hummingbird or something like that. You know, the at the end when the curtain dropped and they was really in the studio but you thought the whole time you was like somewhere off in the jungle or something you know I guess it was, it was an illusion okay it was an illusion the marriage was an illusion the belief system for some of you was a, a cult <laughs> okay or something like a religious cult a religious something okay yeah Belief system, it's time for you to com com complete, just kill this snay, anything that makes you feel unworthy, because it's blocking you, okay? It's putting you in uh, victim mode. Some of you, you need to complete this marriage or cut this person off, but you have to speak some sort of truth before you do that. Mm, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Miracle enlightenment. Once you complete it. Yeah, because you didn't just went through the fire. 
Do the limit. Do the high. Am I saying it right? Damn it. It's going to go out to a lot of people. Do the fire. To the limit. Put it in the comments. That's right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What's that? Shotgun. Shotgun. Let me rock it. Let me rock it. Shotgun. <laughs> was it Shotgun? Or was that Tina Marie? I don't know. But that's what I'm... We don't have... We on that... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's all I, that's only where I could, <laughs> gotta let it go. Ask with sincerity. I feel like you did a lot of that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to say like you did a lot of that too much possibly, you know? Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Somebody, some of you, you dealing, some of you, you are a man. And you like, I keep going back to this toxic person because they keep asking nicely. Some of you is a male that's going through this. Okay, you could actually be on this side if you're a cross watcher. Somebody definitely kept trying. Uh, they would do stuff like little stuff to, to, to tick you off. And then they would do something like have a threesome. And you'd be like, okay. Why was ass? Why is ass with sincerity here? Yeah, what did I tell? <laughs> and you thought, well, you know, oh wow, somebody said that they playing with me when they tell me giving up the nappy dugout. If you is old enough to know what giving up the nappy dugout is, please like the video. Somebody thought because somebody was giving up the nappy dugout. That sounds so foul coming out. It sounds like I should have just bleeped it, bleep, 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 bleep. But it actually has no curse words in it. So, yeah. Somebody was giving up the nappy dugout. <laughs> and you like, okay. And you thought, why they put the chicory at the bottom of the deck? And you was like, man, I'm winning. Somebody really thought they was winning. For some of you, this might have been your husband. They could have a child with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> like a three-way, then I ain't laughing at you, but this is some scandalous, nasty stuff, right? People be like, that tarot ain't real. That be, the, that be them people that be doing stuff, don't want to get exposed, right? They be thumbs down in the video. That's obsessive stalkers, right? But definitely somebody, you know, was falling for the okie doke. Why is uh, the Hierophant here? Hierophants for Aquarius in this marriage, our belief system. I got bamboozled. <laughs> Trickery. <laughs> I heard it in my head. That's why I said it. Okay. So someone um, needs to realize this is a part of destiny. This is destiny is about you making the right choice. Okay. Um, at the right time. Right. What do you believe in? What do you want to invest your energy into, into? What do you want to level up? So for some of you, it's a spiritual practice, okay? For some of you, you was meant to go through this uh, toxic uh, marriage. Some of you were very shallow. Or you're dealing with someone that was, okay? So it was to expand you spiritually or religious, to give you a different outlook, right, about what we call life. Okay, again, I'm, I'm telling you, for some of you didn't know that this type of deception existed, right? So you may have blocked off your heart or you're dealing with someone that this may have went, they may have went through a toxic marriage and that's the reason why they were blocked off, okay? You may have, be a third party in this situation. It's going to resonate for everyone differently, right? But this was a part of a destiny. If someone stepped into your marriage and may have had a child or stepped into your marriage or whatever, it was a part of destiny. It was to give you a different outlook about tradition, marriage, okay? For some of you, you were dealing with someone who was very religious, right? We got renewal. Temperance. Why is temperance here? Or you come from a lineage of people that was very... And it's like you, you have to, it's something different for you, right? That path is blocked. Like you may have tried it. Like you may have tried to stay in a marriage or tried to be a certain type of way and it blocked you. And for some of you, it made you physically ill. 
Yeah, confusion. Yeah, forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Some of you, you feel like you let the wrong person go. For some of you, it could have been someone of the same sex. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay. The fool card. Yeah. Someone's definitely in pain. They're waiting for something. Something to end. Some type of paperwork. Something. Before they make a step. This is someone very uh, logical. This is someone that has a lot to lose. Okay. So they have to be, I'm very, I'm, I'm hearing very methodical about what they do. Yeah. Okay. The full card. So whoever's dealing with somebody, this was your destiny because you learned a lot. Yep. Full card. Release. Okay. So some of you, you, this has something to do with a divine feminine. You may be in the public eye, right? Your divine masculine may be in the public eye. They could be married to someone that's karmic or they come from a karmic family lineage, okay? But you have to release that. These are people that are very shallow, very vain. Um, this may be someone that has like a lot of surface riches. However, they're not abundant when it comes to uh, spirituality. So I feel like somebody may be having a lot of dreams about poverty, okay? needing to confront that somebody also may do a lot of magic to keep their finances going or sacrifices hey it's gonna resonate with everybody different and it's not working whatever they used to do is not working and it's because they need to uh, focus on their heart space and uh, fill their heart with love and gratitude all right if you would like your own personal reading that information, Oracle of the Ether at Gmail, only at Oracle of the Ether at Gmail. All right, I'll see y'all later.